Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today's session is going to be for our advanced level players, age 10 to 14, and the topic is going to be defending your penalty area. You're going to split your players into teams of four. Station two of the outside players around 24 yards apart, and each of the outside players should have a couple of balls. The other two will be in the middle. One player will be an attacker and the other one will be a defender. The attacker's job is to receive the ball from the outside player and get it to the other outside player. The defender must prevent them from doing this, and the attacker can go to either side once they're checking back in, whoever has the ball. Making it easier, play with only one ball so that the attacker only has one choice where to pass and receive, and making it harder, we can add a second defender. There's a coaching point on playing tight here that you should definitely have a look at. And in our technical element, we're going to set up a series of cones about 25 yards away from the goal. Put a goalkeeper in goal and have the rest of the players take a ball and stand next to a cone. Send in one attacker and one defender, both without a ball, and they're going to play 1v1 in front of the goal. The attacker will call out for a ball from any of the outside players and try and score. The defender will try and prevent this and try and get the ball outside of the semicircle. Play for about 90 seconds and see how many goals are scored. Rotate through all of your attackers and defenders so that everyone gets a turn. To progress this, you can add a second defender, and this time the player serving the ball will do this and make it a 2v2 situation by joining in the attack. Making it easy, we can instruct the attacker to try and dribble past the defender, and making it harder, we can ask the defender to retreat to the 6-yard line before each new ball. There's two coaching points here, decision making and being physical, and you should definitely have a look at this. In our tactical element, it's inside the penalty box. Assign four defenders and a goalkeeper who must stay within the box, and they will be against three attackers. The attacking team will also have three bumpers spaced along the penalty area, and they cannot go into the penalty area. Ensure there's lots of spare balls around, and as soon as one goes out, serve another one in, so it's nice and quick. Once your defenders get the hang of this, you can start to add in more attackers. Making it easy, you can add an extra defender, and making it harder, you can add an extra attacker. The first coaching point is zonal or man-to-man. -man. We want to make our players decide which we're going to do. And our second coaching point is compactness, and you should definitely look at this on the coaching plan. Small-sided game time to finish. We suggest playing 5v5 to keep all the players engaged. We suggest playing no goalkeepers and the use of small goals to encourage accurate shots. In order to create plenty of coaching moments, we suggest setting a formation and making equal teams with equal attackers and equal defenders. We always advise that you should allow time for your players to enjoy the scrimmage without any conditions, and we're going to make it real by assigning positions, set formations, and help the players understand the roles within the game. The coaching summary is on the session plan, and you should definitely have a look at this. And thank you very much for watching, and for more videos like this, please visit us on YouTube or visit p2.soccer.